right, Jungle is back. We got the brand new DNA recoil. No, no recoil, just coil. <laughs> All right, Jungle is back. We got the brand new DNA coil, pearlized version of the original DNA. So we're gonna compare those two. And also the brand new asymmetrical pearl from Roto Grip, the Attention Star. This ball is already super popular. Already got a PBA title with Simo. So let's throw all three. Let's see what these balls do compared to each other. All right, all three balls are pretty fresh. We got 46 feet here, fresh oil. We're gonna get lined up with the DNA solid. We're gonna throw a three, try and get lined up, and then we'll switch balls. I lined up in two shots. The first one was a little high, so I moved two and one to the left. That was perfect. So let's throw one more and then we'll go to the coil. So I leaked that one about a board to the right at the arrows like two or three right down lane and it just doesn't have enough pop left a 10 pin but still hit the pocket so the dna solid is definitely made for the fresh oil right it's very early rolling very smooth very predictable very good when the lanes are freshly oiled and then they got fresh back ends all right let's throw the coil okay same line with the coil same layout we just got a different cover stock oh look at that dive into the pins Almost a 4-9 there, standing in the same spot. All right, we're gonna have to bump two left here. <laughs> wow, bone and nine. Okay, maybe one more board left. All right, we're now three left of where the DNA solid struck from. This should be good. That ball has a lot of pop with the back end. Yeah, this is fresh oil. It's still 46 feet, and you can tell the DNA solid was a little lazy if I got a little right. This ball just keeps hooking in the back end. All right, I feel like I said those exact words when I threw this ball in the last review a few weeks ago. So let's throw this on the same line as we just ended off with the DNA. These balls are sharp, man. Just threw three with the attention star there. And I think I missed a little bit left on the first one. Left something really ugly, four, nine combo. But then I went 10 back, 10 back. And it's really close to the DNA right now on this fresh pattern. But in a 15, the DNA is a stronger bowling ball. We got lower RG and we got more dip. That just means earlier and more hook overall over an extended period of time. If you're bowling on something long, these balls are gonna be pretty close together. The most difference you're gonna see is when there's a lot of oil, the DNAs are just gonna perform that much better just because of the strength of the core and the cover. But if you're bowling on something a little lighter and we got some burn, I think then the attention star is gonna be a little better than the DNA. All right, about halfway through the bid with the DNA coil, I'm comparing it against the attention star. So my question for you is, which ball do you think is gonna win the most titles this year on tour? Simon just won with the Attention Star. Bill O'Neill, we got the Black Widow 3.0. Marshall Kent, we got the GB4 Hybrid. And Kyle Troop, we got the V Virtual Energy Blackout. All right, bowling on the step letter on TV, the lanes get pretty burnt up pretty quick. Those guys are practicing in commercial breaks and everything like that. So I think a shiny ball is gonna win the most titles this year on tour. I think it's either gonna be the Attention Star or the Virtual Energy Blackout. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let's throw a few more with each, just to make sure. All right, we're going three left of the uh, last couple shots. DNA should recover. Nice. Yeah, you can see that ball rev up and just want to turn the corner. A little bit more hook potential of the DNA Pearl than the Attention Star. Both got really crazy back ends, though. Yeah, got that one in just a hair, and it still went through the pins really good when I kept it in the oil. Really good sign. Yeah, I'm gonna throw the solid from that same spot, and you can just really tell the difference the cover stop makes. Flat 10. So, the DNA is solid. You wanna bowl on fresh, you wanna play a little straighter. Use the strength of the ball, have it roll a little earlier, float into the pocket. A little straighter angles, where the coil and the attention star, you can really get in. Make that ball curve in the back end. Attention star, same line. 
Really close to the coil on this long pattern. The more oil you have, the better the DNAs are gonna be. I think especially on that shot, I think the DNA definitely is gonna hook a little more. Okay, 46 feet, let's move to the right. Let's kind of play up 10, 11, 12 here. And uh, this is where this ball is really gonna shine. This is where this ball does the best. Miss a little right, and that ball really picks up in the mid lane. Dead flush. Drainer is greater with the big asymmetrical solids, right? That line, that ball's gonna carry all day. Really easy to hit the pocket. Nice mid lane traction. Let's throw the coil on that line. We're probably, you know, it's gonna be pretty hard to control, I think. Wow. Yeah, you see that? The ball just takes off in the back end. Like, we're gonna play straight with that ball. Uh, it's gonna be hard to control unless the lanes are pretty dry and you can throw it nice and hard. Okay, one more. Let's try and uh, amp the speed up a little bit. That ball just takes off as soon as it hits the drive. One more shot from inside, we'll do the recap. All right, we just got done throwing the DNA coil, the pearlized version of the original DNA. And wow, this ball hooked in the back end like crazy. A few weeks ago, I threw the Attention Star and I thought that ball was crazy in the back end until I threw this. This ball is a little bit more in the back end than the Attention Star. We get a little bit more diff in the core, so more hook potential. And we have a little bit lower RG, so a little bit earlier rolling as well. Uh, not by much, just a little. Uh, just enough to make this ball hook a few more boards, I think, after throwing it for the whole video. Again, the DNA is solid, the original, really good for playing nice and straight, fresh oil, medium and long patterns, maybe even short patterns as well if you need that ball to get started up nice and early, be nice and smooth, yet continuous off the back end. And this one, we just switched the cover stock, right? We're now gonna pearlize version, and this ball, corners in the back end, crazy. Way more than the DNA solid. As you can see, I threw a few up the right, up 10 at the end of the video, and you can really see the reaction difference when you play straight like that. I also threw a few from way inside, and you can also see the reaction difference from there as well. So very similar balls in terms of core and everything like that, but the cover stock, that's what makes the ball extremely different. So yes, you can have both DNAs in your bag, and if you also want an attention star, I would try and drill it a little bit differently, just to give you more of a gap between the coil and the attention star. Again, if you like your big balls, you like your asymmetrical balls, DNA coil, this ball is gonna hook in the back end for sure. All right, don't forget my question down below. All right, don't forget my question down below. Which ball do you think is gonna win the most titles this year on tour? Right, we got four tournaments, we got four titles, we got four different winners, and we got four different bowling balls used. Let me know in the comments. And if you're looking for a new ball like the DNA coil, don't forget our promo code, Jungle Barks at shop.bufabowling.com. He's got absolutely everything there. He's got everything from grips, slugs, balls, shoes, bags, absolutely everything. So check out his website and order whatever you need. See you in the next bit.